1991, a 5,000-year-old frozen body was discovered high in the Italian Alps. This frozen mummy would later become known as Uzi the Iceman. I recently completed a YouTube video series on how to make Uzi the Iceman equipment, including a bow, arrows, a quiver, and a backpack. While gathering information on Uzi the Iceman, I came across some interesting information completed by microbiologists who discovered what he ate during his last meal. These scientists took samples from the Iceman's frozen stomach and analyzed its partially digested contents to determine what he ate more than 5,000 years ago. The contents of his stomach included bran from einkorn wheat. Einkorn is our most ancient form of wheat and its domestication marked the beginning of our agricultural society. It differs from modern wheat in that it grows taller and produces less grain. The seeds contain far less gluten than today's modern wheat, and genetically it is diploid with two pairs of chromosomes, where today's modern wheat has been selectively bred to have up to six pairs of chromosomes. Einkorn wheat was clearly an important part of the Iceman's diet. Spikelets, which grow around the einkorn seeds, were found in his clothing, and his teeth contain severe cavities, which is indicative of a diet high in carbohydrates, such as grains. If the Iceman ate einkorn in a porridge, the seeds would have been found whole in his stomach. But the presence of bran suggests he ground the ancient grain into a flour. Because einkorn wheat is low in gluten, it is unlikely that the Iceman made bread using a leavening agent such as yeast. It is more likely that he simply mixed the flour with water to make a flat bread that resembles a cracker. The presence of charcoal suggests that he cooked this bread on a hot rock next to a fire. Researchers also discovered that Uzi the Iceman ate meat from wild game. In his digestive system, they found traces of meat from a red deer. And in his stomach, they found pieces of meat from a wild goat species called an ibex. The presence of this meat in his stomach indicates that he ate this meal less than two hours before his death. I assume Uzi the Iceman cooked his meat over an open fire. However, it is clear that he wasn't too concerned about the cleanliness of his food. Researchers discovered pieces of hair and particles of flies mixed in with the chunks of meat in his stomach. The final food found in the Iceman's stomach was a leafy plant material from some unknown green herb. To represent this unknown salad green, I used the leaves from the stinging nettle plant. Utsi was clearly familiar with the stinging nettle plant as he used fibers from the stinging nettle stalk to wrap the fletchings onto his arrow. Stinging nettle leaves are incredibly nutritious and are rich in vitamins A and C, iron, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. When cooked, they are similar in taste and appearance to spinach. Steaming the leaves on a hot rock will neutralize the little hairs that can inflict a painful sting. This 5,000-year-old Neolithic meal represents a time in our history when we transitioned from a more paleo hunter-gatherer society to a society that depended more on agricultural grains. There are still a lot of questions about Utsi the Iceman's life. However, there is one thing for sure. We can tell that he ate well before he died. You can purchase einkorn grain from a company called Jovial Foods who raises their wheat in Italy in the same country where Utsi the Iceman lived. You can eat their seeds directly or plant them in the garden to raise your own ancient wheat crop.